Austin Deckless in front of us too. Jacob, Ma Jacob Mackey. Vin oh, that's a nice name. Vincenzo? What is, what on earth is happening in this Vincenzo game? Vincenzo Balisteri, yeah? Bal well, yeah, but, Bal but what's this battlefield? I'm guessing it somehow involves the card uh, Secure the Waste. We're getting the we're we're getting all the descriptors here set up here, but Jeskai can Jeskai control is way ahead. All right, here we go. You can have Jacob's deck list. You seem like a Jeskai guy. Ten and one is green red Aldrazi. That's a good record. Here's a reality smusher. Ah, I see why we have all these tokens. Secure the Waste, yeah. Elspeth Sun's Champion. There's also Nahiri with a literal million counters on it. 14 to be exact. I'm gonna do some counting here. Looks like we have Jacob Mackey at 11 and Vincenzo at 22. We're gonna do some blocking here on Reality Smasher. Looks like a little bit of trample damage will take place. Reality Smasher down. Ah. Ah, okay, more soldier tokens. Let's get those, let's get those ones out of here. It's from official Star City Games soldier tokens, which you can find at a local invitational qualifier near you. Go to starcitygames.com slash IQ for more information. Nice. Thank you. Cryptic Command among the cards in Jacob Mackey's hand. Shocker. <laughs> Looks like we have Celestial Colonnade coming in for an attack. Elspeth's going to go up to six. Three more soldier tokens. Okay. I don't know if these guys are going to have time to get game three done. We'll see. I guess one side of this matchup has the potential to do it. That's true. What do we have here? Maybe a little bit of a mix-up with the soldier tokens? To, yeah. Colonnades, well, damage total. Doesn't Nahiri have nothing sweet to find? Tarantula Gear Hulk. Well, that's kind of sweet. But uh, there's a Graph Digger's Cage, so. Sure. No, Emrakul. What's this? Big Reality Smasher. Big draw. Yeah. I'm going to tap all your creatures draw a card. And take a bunch of damage from a colonnade. Ooh, Vendillion Click. It's nice. Pass the turn back. And tap Mac all these soldier tokens. Mackie, you just gotta you gotta move gotta move a little yeah, fast. We gotta, we gotta pick up the pace here, Jacob, if you wanna get this done. Yeah. That's for that's for darn sure. All right, fire up colonnade. It's a lot of knuckleheads. You know, like Nahiri, the Reality Smasher. You can cast Supreme Verdict, make more tokens. A lot of things you can do. Just gotta get gotta get the show rolling. Yep, make three more. Pass the turn back over to Vincenzo. Come on, Bane Fire. <laughs> Searching the deck list. Help me out here. Come on, Bane Fire is nice. How about Mindstone? Redraw. Big peel. The whiff. Draw a card. I would just attack. Attack him! I would just attack. <laughs> just attack him. There you go. There we go. We get ready for game three now. Gotta be quick. 
got to be quick. You got six minutes. Chances of a game three finishing very low. We're going to find out if they can finish game number three here in Milwaukee. But first, a couple messages from our sponsors. Game number three. About to be underway here between Green, Drowsy, and L and Jeskai Control, excuse me. You see underneath five minutes here. These players are gonna have to play some speed magic or they're gonna be getting a draw here, folks. So we'll find out. It's Cedric Phillips, Patrick Song. We're here in the booth. Nick Miller, he's in the sideboard. Just finished the deck tech up with, I believe, Caleb Durward and his Mario Pyromancer deck. Also did a player spotlight with Caleb Shear, the Storm Master. So we got some more fun content to bring to you wonderful people at home. Right now, though, we turn our attention to game number three, and we'll see how fast these players can play, assuming they have some intentions of playing quickly. Green Red Aldrazi is the one that can get it done here. Yes. Balisteri is going to sacrifice a Wooded Foothills. Get a basic forest, and we'll see some sort of mana accelerant. Graph Digger's Cage. That's a turn one play. Grove of the Burnwell is the draw. Here's an Eldrazi Temple, it looks like. And now a Chalice of the Void on one. All right. That could stop a lot of Mackie stuff. Path, Bolt, Serum Visions. And now the Snapcasters are locked out, too. Yeah. A good setup for uh, winning a long game, potentially, but not exactly the most explosive opening in terms of winning this uh, match in time. You just got to start firing off those Ace Creatures now. Hollow found the land. There's a flooded strand. That's the second land there for Jacob Mackey. Aldrazi Temple to draw. No play here for Vincenzo. That's tough. You'd like to see a Reality Smasher or a Thought Knot here that turn. His hand looks very land heavy. Yeah. There's a Steam Vents for Jacob Mackey. I'm ready to chalk this up one as a draw partner. I don't know about you. I don't know. Uncontested Reality's Master can get things done pretty fast, but it's not looking promising. Snapcaster made the draw. There's a Flooded Strand, fast to turn back. I believe that was a Lightning Bolt. Looks like Mackie's going to sacrifice a flooded strand here. You know what's not helping this magic get done in time? Shuffling the deck of, for a fetch land? Damn to fetch land. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Were you going to make a make a mention about old flooded strand there? Uh oh. We might be doing it. Oh, Vendillion Click. Grove, Grove, Noble, Bolt. A couple cards that pair really nicely with a chalice on one. Yeah, sure do. <laughs> you, <laughs> can, <laughs> you can keep those. Uh, Hey, uh, I got a. Uh, you can. I got you some can, info for you. You can definitely have those. Mac, you might get this done. Okay. He's got a Snapcaster in his hand too, and a Helix. Okay. But he's gonna have to move a little bit faster than this. Yep. And for three. 
Draw a card. Mattery Shaper, sure. Here's Mattery Shaper. Let's counter that. Yeah, just counter draw. Counter draw. Here's a Lightning Helix. Kill the Mattery Shaper. Blood Braid Elf's gonna go to hand. You're gonna do that, you gotta, yeah. yeah. Th this is the plan here. Draw a card. In for five. Play a Flooded Strand, pass the turn back. Another Blood Braid Elf to draw there. A third Eldrazi Temple there for Vincenzo. Here comes Blood Braid Elf. Gain a life there for Jacob Mackey. Eh, Cascade. Mattery Shaper. All right, ground's kind of locked. Ish. We're so turns. That means Mackey's going to get one, three, and five here. Yep. And with the Cryptic to tap and draw and get in that hit, that gets uh, Vincenzo down to six, and the click can hit twice. I mean, that's... this. There is a path. That That is exactly zero on turn five of extra turns, assuming no improvement from Mackey's side. Mm -hmm. Players are cutting it close. So we'll see what the modes are with this cryptic command. Looks like it's going to be counter draw. I really think that should just be tap and draw here. I agree. You have to change the way you're playing the game right. based off the clock. This is so much more about trying to actually finish the game on time. Well, Mackie's picked up a path and a colony that is draw steps, though. So those are really good tools here for getting well, it done. Yeah, Chow should counter that. It should. I'll say that. I'm guessing by the lack of movement here that that is what happened. Yes. Down to eight. So the colonnade still gets, uh, in, in theory, gets Mackie across the finish line in time. Yes, it does. Draw a card. Uh, is that a Thought Knots here? Yeah. Here is Thought Knots here. Probably going to counter that thing. Yeah, counter draw. Pick up a Snapcaster Mage. Draw. Nahiri, doesn't matter much. Just fire up that colonnade. There it is. It's winning time. Get in there for seven. Down to one. I'm just caster snap, caster mage. Yep. Nothing right, else. Yeah, yeah, nothing yeah, better to do. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. do it right away, but right. yeah. Nothing better to do with it. Raptor just gave the draw. It looks like we're going to see a Blood Braid Elf here. And we thought that Green Red Eldrazi was the only one that could get it done here. Here's Blood Braid Elf. Cascading. Ancient Stirrings, nah. Chalice the Void's going to counter that. Random cards will go to the bottom. And yeah, you just play a Snapcaster Mage, you quickly untap, turn number five. It looks like Jacob Mack is actually going to get this thing done. Unbelievable. This guy control turned into Jeskai Aggro here, folks. Everything is going to come on in. Jacob Mack is going to win on turn five of extra turns over Vincenzo Balisteri. Jeskai control wins this match two games to one over Green Red Eldrazi. And for Jacob Mackey, 11.